Hi everyone and uh, welcome to part two of my build of AFV clubs uh, Scorpion um, which I'm converting and detailing to the ones used in the Falklands uh, war 40 years ago. As you can see here we have some photos of the guys uh, practicing on their way down to the Falklands at the Ascension Islands and in this video we're going to be looking at the detailing of the upper hull now first thing to do was to replace the front grill uh, which is the newest star one and we needed to replace it with the uh, older star one that was uh, seen on the scorpions uh, in the Falkland Islands so what it was a matter of doing is uh, getting the saw and uh, cutting out the uh, front of the uh, model there um, so that I could actually uh, make in uh, a detailed um, replacement um, which would have open louvers like these pictures can see so you'd be able to see some of the detailing underneath of the engine and the radiator parts um, this is one of my uh, older blades on the uh, saw but uh, cuts through the plastic nicely um, and this way we can uh, then get the uh, dremel out um, with the uh, disc cutter on the end and just as carefully as you possibly can just trim it all the way back and try not to damage the mainframe itself and then get your sanding stick clean it all up um, however the front of the uh, model was a little bit thick so that was scraped back using the craft knife uh, to be more representative of the real thing then obviously the next thing that had to be done was to make the actual grill itself so I used a base of uh, 0.25 plastic card cut to size and then I made a rough drawing of the actual uh, openings uh, cut that opening out and then it was a matter of uh, making the panel on top uh, where the louvers would be housed so like I said the base was 0.25 mil and then the actual uh, grill and louvers was made using 0.15 mil plastic card here had to be a little bit more exact so the uh, square holes uh, were cut out um, and then the central bar was put in and at this point I noticed uh, on the reference photos that in fact all of this needed to be flush so that central bar had to be flush with the actual gaps themselves so it's just a matter of uh, tidying that up with the knife and with the sanding sticks and as you can see that's turned out a lot better now so what I needed to do was to actually make the um, louvre strips themselves and what I would do, I just cut strips off of the uh, sheet uh, using the uh, guillotine uh, cutter and making the uh, strips as uh, thin as possible. And then the actual louvre um, strips were cut to size uh, using the RB Tools uh, guillotine. Uh, this enables you, once set up properly, uh, to actually cut uh, your strips of uh, plastic to equal length. Uh, which is a great help when you're doing repetitive size cutting. Now the same uh, had to be done with the kit part. Um, the louvers had to be replaced here because on the actual kit part uh, the louvers actually point in that direction where in fact they should be pointing towards you and it also give me a chance to enhance all the detailing on the plastic part as well. So first things first was to get the craft knife out and then very carefully take off all the detailing and scrape, scrape it back. And then again with the drill and the disc cutter blade very carefully take away all of that uh, louvre detail. And basically just follow the same procedures uh, that were done uh, on the front grill itself. And there we have the uh, plain piece now. And it was a matter of adding in the louvres and the central piece. There's also the uh, P parts from Edgeward and some Meng nuts. And then I added some wire handles using a made up jig uh, to represent the uh, size of the handles and some extra detailing there with plastic card. Uh, 
Now I want you to create a base underneath the uh, top of the uh, upper hull uh, to allow me to put some of the detailing of the radiator and the engine parts. This doesn't have to be uh, exact, just to create a base uh, which we'll put more detailing in later. This also gave me an opportunity to finish off the rear end using the uh, PE parts to make the rear tail light and some 3 mil wire that was th threaded through the holes um, to add more detailing. And then the two parts were stuck together with liquid CA glue and with the weights um, that was left overnight. And now I had a uh, firm rigid structure for which I was able to uh, do more detailing on. And I was really pleased with uh, how this has all been turned out. Now on the sides, the first thing we do is to do the tools. Now this kit only provides a shovel and because we're doing the Falklands uh, Scorpions, they actually had a um, axe as well. So it was a matter of getting the axe out of the spares drawer and uh, getting the uh, correct research photographs uh, to allow me to position the tools on the side correctly. And then using the uh, Eduard uh, PE set, I strip back the uh, shovel of all of the uh, brackets and then bent the uh, PE parts into place. You'll notice there's a couple of little round uh, discs on there. That's where you need to put uh, the nuts. So again, Meng nuts were used um, to add on that detailing of that particular part. And once done, I was really pleased with how it all turned out. I did then realize that I'd forgotten to do the weld seam all the way around, so that had to be done. And the bit on the turret has to be done before you add on the exhaust piece. Now the exhaust piece also has a cover. Uh, this one here is the Eduard one. And compared to the one that was in the actual box, um, I felt that the uh, box represented the uh, cover better because it was slightly longer than the uh, Eduard one. And I did in fact uh, like the honeycomb shape of the mesh a lot better as well. So my personal preference was to use the actual kit part itself. Then it was a matter of uh, finding something in the in the bench uh, to uh, bend it around, um, and I settled uh, for a five mil rod, and that was the ideal solution. But before I did any bending, I got a uh, steel file and just cleaned up all of the sprue connectors uh, on the PE piece to make sure that it was all clean and flush. This will actually be left off the model until the very end and be painted separately. But I was pleased with how it was now looking. I added on a few extra detailing of, of, of nuts and bolts here and there. But all in all, that particular side of the uh, Scorpion was looking very good indeed. Uh, there were a couple of missing pieces, uh, obviously from the kit part, which was the exhaust extension, uh, which I made using uh, a piece of uh, um, tubing and also the aerial uh, holders where I used a piece of uh, one mil metal tubing and then embellished that with some solder wire brackets and some foil as well. And then a couple of uh, plastic card discs on the end. On the left hand side of the Scorpion, uh, the ones that went to the Falklands had double bins. Um, so I decided to make my own one uh, using plastic card. And it was just a matter of doing a, a basic shape and trim that out with uh, other plastic card on top. And then that was uh, fine detailed using some of the uh, PE clasps uh, from Eduard and also adding on some uh, handles uh, from the research photos that I had and they were made from 3 mil wire and 0.5 mil rivets and I was really pleased with uh, how that was all now looking and next I moved my attention to the um, lights now when they came down to the Falklands the uh, lights at the front and back had um, amber and clear lenses but by the end of the war uh, these had all been smashed off so I cut those off and they will be painted up to represent uh, the damaged lights um, that you can see clearly in these photos.
Next, it was a matter of just putting the detailing on the side of the rest of the tools um, using the PE clasps and the belts, which were really nicely detailed. And also there's the fire extinguisher next to the double bins there as well. So all in all, that's that side of the uh, model now complete. Uh, I also had the uh, wing mirrors, um, the photo show that again, these are damaged as well. Um, so it's just a matter of using the kit part bracket at the bottom, cutting the rest away, drilling out the bracket and putting in some uh, four mil wire and they will be tucked away on the model as per the uh, research photos. And that would make a nice little feature which you will see later on in this build. So as far as the detailing goes on the top, that was complete uh, with the Eduard strip. And then I did some of my own scratch building just to put a little bit of detail under uh, the louvre um, so that you can uh, see through to the radiator and some of the engine parts. And these will just be painted black to create a, a nice shadow look. Now the kit panel, uh, back panel was fine, no issues there at all. Um, however, the uh, exhaust, uh, the triangular part had to be uh, cut off uh, to enable the uh, resin uh, stowage bin to be added. The, the back panel connector uh, to the main part wasn't very good at all, so that had to be modified um, with the addition of some welding strips. And they also made some extra detailing on the uh, petrol caps as well. The stowage bin itself um, was nicely done. Uh, there was a couple of issues with the uh, casting not coming out correctly. Um, the back of uh, or the underneath of the bin, I should have uh, filled this uh, in with epoxy resin and sanded it flat. Uh, but I, instead I added on a, a piece of thin plastic card as well. Uh, but once uh, all sanded back and uh, weathered, hopefully the, the join will not be noticeable. The actual detailing on the stowage bin uh, was replaced um, using uh, scratch built uh, handles in the same way as before and also using the uh, clasps and handle set that was uh, provided by Eduard. Uh, the rear wire for the lights that was all uh, put in place using uh, CA glue um, and then fed up into the uh, back light and a little uh, pewter um, panel was added to uh, support the uh, exhaust uh, outlet as well and I was really pleased how that final corner was now looking. Now to remove the detailing off um, anything to do with resin be very careful indeed uh, make sure you're wearing a mask because resin dust isn't very good at all and I just used uh, one inch and two inch files just to scrape back uh, the detailing and then that was very gently uh, um, sanded down. As you can see I've replaced uh, one of the rope panels with uh, three mil um, styrene rod and that was uh, detailed out uh, using a craft knife. And any particular areas uh, that you feel you want to add uh, uh, detail to use a craft knife or in this case uh, uh, in metal points and just uh, gouge out the areas that, that, you, that you want to add some more detailing to. The actual ha handles, um, I made a jig um, using some plastic card and the handles are made from 3 uh, mil wire. Um, very fiddly but well worth uh, the, the uh, trouble. And once you've made the actual shape then just get your snips and uh, cut one into uh, size and then get some round nosed pliers squash each flat end down and then add on uh, your 0.5 mil uh, pewter rivet and then stick that onto the stowage bin and that looks a, a really nice uh, added piece of detail. So as I leave you with some photos of the um, scorpions and the scimitars traveling down to the actual Falklands themselves. I'd just like to say thank you very much indeed uh, to all of my subscribers and thank you everybody for your continued support and help with my work and it just leaves me to say happy modeling.